guys, this is just another inbox review that I've uh, thought I'd do. Um, it's a kit I recently had through, which I think came through last week, which I ordered. Um, it's the old M24 Chaffee. Now, I think Mike Cohen actually recently did a build on this. Um, I think it was Panzermeister's uh, Fall of the Right build. Um, he actually did it as a Second World War Canadian vehicle. Um, this one I may well do from the Korean War, which is actually what the kit is depicted from. Um, basically, chaffees were actually brought in around about the latter stages of the Second World War, uh, mainly used in the theatres in Italy and obviously in Germany during the final stages and months of the Second World War. They were basically designed to replace the MA and M20 Greyhound, which were having problems up against the already more efficient Panzer Brigades and uh, basically this was introduced with a 76mm gun and ran extremely fast and basically took on the Panzer units at their own level so yeah she was a good little tank anyway without further ado let's get on with the inbox review as you can see there from the top of the box you've got the lovely illustration of, which is on most box arts of Italeri's kits um, the thing about this one is that it comes with a metal barrel and basically track links which actually improve the quality of the kit so uh, I'm pleased about that um, the kit number on this one if you're interested in is 6502 okay uh, as you can see you've got the beautiful illustration on the top of the box on the side you've got the colour call outs for two examples that you can do one which was used in Korea in 51 and the other one which was used in the French Indochina War um, in 53 so that would be quite an interesting subject to do um, on the other side of the box you've got the illustration again and then basically the dimensions of the kit which is not that big uh, compared to a Sherman if anything it's a little smaller Okay. And then basically this is showing you the aftermarket details you can get, the interchangeable track links and then the metal barrel which you can see there, which I think is a damn good idea. I mean it was first introduced with some of the original Dragon kits um, and Italeri seemed to have sort of jumped onto the bandwagon about this, so good, good on them, good on them. Anyway, without further ado, let's have a look and see what's inside the box, if you will just bear with me. To get it open that is here we go right now to be honest with you I have actually removed these sprues from the box I've had a little look myself so uh, if they're a little loose that's why right you've got the instruction seat as you can see a little bit about the history of the vehicle right there very short and sweet unlike the Tamiya kits um, and then opening it up, it goes into a big sort of eight, eight folded fold out page. First off, you've got all the sprue trees, which you see there, including the aftermarket links and the metal barrel, obviously. Okay. First stage is to assemble the running gear to the lower hull, okay, along with the suspension arms. Okay. And this is the opposite side. And then the back plate of the vehicle is added. Now, surprisingly, they're saying on here that you should assemble the tracks next. I think I'm going to leave that to the last stage, along with assembling all the running gear on it, like I would normally do. It's a lot easier and a lot less hassle. Okay, I might use these, I don't know. Um, other than that, I may well go for aftermarket link, uh, tracks again from AFE. But I'll, I'll, I'll worry about that nearer the time. This is just basically a rough guide of, of how the tracks can be sort of um, given some natural sag, which I think is a good idea. It's a bit like the old magic tracks. And this is just showing you the other view of it, okay, of how they're assembled. And then obviously you've got the assembly of the upper hull with all the hatches and the side plates, side skirts and the machine gun which goes inside. Then the assembly of all the tools and other various uh, accoutrements which go onto the upper hull. Okay. 
and then more grab handles for the engine compartments at the back of the actual upper hole as well as more hatches, viewing area for the driver and more tools which you can see there and they've even included a little backpack I mean you can get accessories if you want to really pack it out so uh, I might look into that then the assembly of the actual barrel and then surprisingly you've got the interior detail there so I don't, to be honest, it's going to make much difference because you're not really going to see anything by the time the hole's all put together unless you leave the hatches open Okay. again then it's the assembly of the actual main turret to the barrel Okay. and then obviously you've got all the added accoutrements which you see there, the grab handles and stowage etc. You can even make your own whip area which you can use a sprue but I as you know well I've got loose sprue anyway. Okay and obviously the final bit is the assembly of the side skirts and also you can add a jerry can and then the tow bars at the front. Okay and then the tow bars at the back of the vehicle and I'm not on the obviously assembly of the jerry can. Here we've got the colour callouts for, I think, looks like uh, one, two, three, four, five, six options. So that's quite interesting. But I think what I'm going to go with is this one, which was the one used out in Italy in 45. Okay, because obviously we were coming up to the 70th anniversary of the end of the war in Europe. So I might go with that, or possibly go with the version that was used in Korea in 51. Or, this one. Um, I'm not sure if it's depicted around about the same era. Um, and then obviously you've got another, another one. That actually is quite a nice one, because I might possibly do that with the old little name saying Duration Plus. <laughs> Which is quite apt. So I might go with that option, I don't know. And then obviously you've got the other option which is the French army in the Indochina war in 53. Okay, and then we all know what the result of that was. <laughs> so that's the instruction sheet. I'll get it back together again. Let's just pop it over there. And then you also get a little leaflet with some of the products that you get from Italy, which actually folds out. So you've got the tools that you can get, the modelling tools, uh, liquid cement. And funny enough they do a range of brushes whether they're good or not I don't know I mean I've heard some modelers say that they are and you've also got if I can get it excuse me a little fold out chart of all their new colour range which you can see here they're all their acrylic paints so yeah well, I'll try them out I don't know right moving on to the main kit Here's the sprues. You've got one, two, three sprues for the main part of the kit and obviously then the tracks. Um, as you can see here, this is the lower part of the hull. Um, as you can see, they've even included the escape hatches underneath. Sorry if it's a bit out of focus. And again, not bad. And then you've even got the weld seams on the bottom, which is a nice little touch. So, yeah. Sorry if it's a bit out of focus, guys. But that's the hazards of using your mobile phone camera. Let's see if we can move back a bit, you might be able to see. As you can see, they've got even the weld seams on it, so that's a nice touch. Uh, and then on the other part of the sprue, you've got the side skirts, and the running gear. Not as sharp as to me, admittedly, uh, but there again, you can get aftermarket tra um, wheels. You've got the jerry can here, okay, and then obviously the running gear, which you can see here, some of the suspension, also, if I bring it out, you can actually see it a bit better, it might come out with a good wash on the running gear, I don't know, we'll see. And then on the next sprue, you've got the main parts of the actual uh, turret, again, they've I've got a bad lot of detail on there. If I can get it over here and let it focus, sorry guys. No, it's not going to do it for some reason. No, 
I might use a little bit of Mr. Surfacer on this because I mean you can't see a lot of detail to be honest. I'm, it's not bad. See, and then you've got the main barrel there, which is in two halves if you want to use it that way. But I'm going to use the metal barrel because you don't get that horrible seam line. There you go. Not bad, not bad. Um, this is the upper hull. Uh, if I can get it a damn well focus. Come on, you do. I think you get the general idea. Oh, that's a bit better. Here you can see you've got the main grills, which are nicely moulded. Uh, and there's a little bit of surface texture on the top there, so that's nice. So that's the main three components of the kit. And then obviously you've got the track links here, which you can make up individually and give it natural sag. Bit laborious, but well worth it, I should think. And then you've got the set of decals. What they're like, I don't know. Most of the performance area kits, when I made the actual aircraft themselves, they were fairly good. And as you can see, you've got various ones. You can do Eagle Claw, Duration Plus. So I uh, might go with the Duration Plus from 45. And then you've obviously got the metals after set there. Okay. Oh, excuse that. That's my housemates. <laughs> Not been here a week, so bear with me on that one. And then on the back, you've got the metal barrel, which is a nice touch, and I shall be using that. So that's the kit, all in all. Um, not bad, I have to say. Not one of the best kits I've actually come across. Um, again, as I say, I've got this on Amazon for about £19. It's not a bad price, actually. So, yeah, I'm quite looking forward to building this little one. Um, I think Mike Cohen said it is quite a nice, neat little kit. Um, one of his nicest that he did like. Um, I'm certainly looking forward to building it. Um, so if you want to get hold of one, I mean, look it up on Amazon. You can always snap one up. Um, or eBay, possibly. Oh, crikey, I can't even get that hole in there. Sorry about this, guys. So, yeah, that is the Chaffee. Okay, from Italeri. Good little kit. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the inbox review. Uh, all that remains to say is get kit crazy, happy modelling, and I'll see you on the next video.